Hey guys, this is Ray with DRP Motorsports and welcome back to the shop and today we got Mr. Mike's 2019 Mustang GT here on the chassis dyno and he brought it in for a custom dyno tune and he already has uh, one of our uh, HP tuners RTDs on the car with our base 93 tune and he's got a JLT and some long tube headers, your basic bolt-ons and we're going to run, make a pull on 93 and see what it does on 93 and then eventually switch it over to E85 and see what it should do on E85. So, let's get to it. All right, guys, you just seen us make our first initial pull on Mike's 2019 Mustang. Like I mentioned before, he had our uh, base 93 tune on the car when the car came in, and we wanted to get a baseline pull on the dyno. Uh, this was my actual first time uh, laying my hands on the car. So uh, you can see in the base pull there in the video clip that uh, didn't run it all the way out. And if you listen very carefully, you can hear it misfiring heavy on top end and uh Anyway, looking at the data log, it started misfiring around 5,600 RPMs, and I lifted at 6,000. Um, there was an issue there. Um, uh, everything in the data log, fuel trim-wise, uh, timing-wise, all that looked good. So I suspected an actual physical issue with the car. And uh, I asked Mike, had he ever put a set of plugs in it? He said no. Uh, the car didn't have a lot of miles on it. It was, uh, I think... 25, 35,000 miles on wasn't a lot, but uh, the car had had another owner before, uh, before Mike had gotten it, and he had also Mike had also run some other folks' tune on the car. And I said, well, let's put a set of plugs in it. So we pulled the uh, plugs out of it, and uh, look at that, guys. That is a nasty, nasty looking plug, and the uh, electrode is actually worn down on it a good bit. Um, so. We put new plugs in the car, fired it back up, and we made another pull, and you'll see that in just a second, and everything runs so much better. And guys, this is why um, dyno tuning can be such a valuable tool, because you simply can't diagnose everything remote tuning, and uh, it's a good chance, you know, that uh, we might not have figured out that this car needed plugs so easy remote tuning the car, so... That's why it's important to uh, find yourself a good local shop that you can bring your car to and get an actual dyno tune done because um, it's much easier to find and correct issues like bad plugs. So moving right along, let's continue following along and watch the next pull on uh, 93 with good plugs. All right, guys, we just got through tuning uh, Mike's 2019 on the uh, chassis dyno. We uh, brought it in uh, with a 93 tune that we had sent to him uh, through the TDN uh, on the RTD device. And we came in, and uh, like I mentioned before, we made a base run, and it was misfiring heavily up top. And we discovered uh, we needed to put some new plugs in the car, so we did that. Got the new plugs in, made another pull with the same tune, and the car run much, much better. And then we uh, switched it out and set it up for E85. Uh, we didn't set the tune on kill, but we wanted a good, safe, conservative tune for his car that he could daily and not have to worry about, you know, uh, any issues at all. And here's what we ended up with. The car came in, and with the bad plugs only made 393 but we cut that pull short because it was misfiring real bad and the torque was 416 same tune new plugs 431 413 got it switched over to e85 <clears throat> made a final pull and we ended up 452 438 and you can see the e85 makes a significant difference in both power but more especially torque uh, i will say that uh our DA this morning we started out it was around 1100 feet and this afternoon on the last pull we were right around 2000 feet so that it warmed up and 
weather was a slight factor. Um, I'd say if the DA was 500 or less, this car probably would make in the 465, 470 range, which is about what we'd expect with this kind of tuning setup. But anyway, everything worked out well. We're real happy with this setup. So. so anyways, guys, we got everything done. As always, thanks for following along. God bless each and every one of you, and we will see you again soon.